Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Flow and Zone. Today's class is going to be a 15 minute full body stretch. So it's going to be the perfect little class to do on a morning to get your body ready for the day or to do after a hard workout. It's just a quick little 15 minutes that you can fit into your day nice and easy. So grab a mat and let's get stretching. Hi guys, we're going to start either in a cross leg position or we're gonna sit into a half lotus pose. So bring one foot in towards the hip crease. And we are just gonna take the hands to the knees and we're gonna inhale as we lengthen through the spine. You can keep the eyes closed. We're just gonna keep that awareness inwards through our practice. So just see if you can connect your mind just to the body, to the stretch, to that flow of breath as we stay present. And we stay in a meditative state throughout our stretches. So from here we're going to exhale as we drop that left ear to the left shoulder. And you can lean slightly over to that left side, deep in that stretch. And as we exhale, we're going to roll the chin along the chest. And then inhaling as that right ear comes above the right shoulder. Again, maybe leaning towards that right side. Just releasing any tension that's built up in the neck. And then bringing that head gently back to center. We're going to come into our seated cat cow. So as we exhale, we round the spine. Leaning back. And just let the chin tuck into the chest. Spread those shoulder blades away from each other. And keeping the hands on the knees. Inhale as we squeeze those elbows in towards the side of our body and we pull that chest through. So just pulling those shoulder blades towards each other. And as we exhale, we're rounding back through the spine. Inhale, we're opening back into that chest. Last time, exhale, round the spine. Inhale, open that chest. And coming into a neutral spine. From here, we're going to walk the hands forward. So we're going to come into a seated forward fold. So I'll turn around so you can see. We're going to start to walk those hands out and just let them come as far as the body allows, keeping both of those sitting bones down on that mat. And just allowing the body to be heavy, just feeling that belly rising and falling. Awareness is just in the body, noticing where about to feel that stretch. Trying to let those tight areas just soften on your exhale. Gentle side stretch as we walk those hands round to the right. So just bring them as far round as you feel comfortable. Letting that forehead drop back down, maybe dropping towards that right knee. towards that left knee. And then from here, we're just going to walk those hands back to center. Inhale as we roll up through the spine. I'm just going to transition into our tabletop from here. So however it's easiest for you to come to that tabletop. Staying in the neutral spine, we're going to move our stretch into the legs. We're going to start on our right side first. So we're going to step that right foot to the top of the mat. And the hands are going to frame either side of that right foot. We're just going to come into a low lunge, the knees over the ankle. And as we stay here, see if you can allow the crown of the head to drop down. And that chin to just tuck in towards the chest. So getting that stretch deep into that psoas muscle. 
relaxing into those hips with every exhale. body to soften on your breath. And from here we're just going to press back as we exhale, coming into our half splits. So we're going to try and extend that right hamstring, you might have to walk the hands in. Hips are square, so we want that right hip pulled back left hip forward, see if those toes can lift. Good, and instead of rounding through the spine, dropping the head, we're going to lift the chest and work to bring the belly towards the side. So rather than folding, stretching through the back, we're working just in that hamstring, sending the chest and the gaze forward. Both hands come to the inside of that right foot. Okay, and we're holding it here. If you want to, you can take it down to the forearms, and maybe one forearm, maybe both forearms. Let's take a little pause here, breathing deep. And that exhale, soften the body. If you want to, you can come onto the side of that right foot and just let that knee open slightly. Staying with the stretch, couple more breaths in. Coming back onto the hands. We're just going to bring that right leg round. So you can extend it out behind the body, give those legs a little shake. We're going to keep those hips stacked over the knees. And we're just going to reach those arms forward. So we're going to drop the forehead down towards the floor. Just come into a nice puppy pose. It's a wonderful stretch for our shoulders, for our upper back. And we're just going to pause here. Let the upper body soften. Allow the face to relax. Just let that heart center melt down towards the floor. chest and start to walk those hands underneath the shoulders. Move into that left side to step that left foot between the hands. Exhaling as we release the body into our low lunge. Maybe the crown of the head's dropping, chin tucking into the chest. Just letting those legs and those hips be heavy. So we're going to press back and find those half splits. Again, hands can walk in. As we exhale, hips stay square. Extending into that leg as much as you can. And again, instead of folding forward, we're going to lengthen through the spine and hair. Send that chest forward. Yoga pose a whole, stay with the stretch. Breathe through that discomfort, trying to find a little bit of stillness in both the body and the mind. And from here we're gonna release into that lizard pose, the hands coming to the inside of that left foot, walk the foot to the edge of the mat. And then either taking it down to the forearm, so you can stay on the hands. Maybe just one forearm. And again, if that left knee wants to drop away, 
coming out to the side of that foot. And we're just going to hold it here. into our downward facing dog. So a full body stretch here. We're stretching the upper back. We're stretching the legs. And we're just gonna walk that dog out. Take your time. So we walk that dog out, we just bend one knee at a time at the heels lift. If you want a deeper stretch, you're going to keep that left knee bent. And just drive that right heel down towards the mat. Straight out the leg. We're changing sides. And the chest is just melting towards the thighs. Now pressing both heels into the mat. We're going to send the gaze forward. And we're just going to come into our rag doll. So we're going to walk those feet up towards the hands. Wonderful stretch for the lower back and the backs of the legs. The so feet hips distance apart, we're going to find the elbows. And you can keep bending the knees. Just allowing the upper body to release. You're welcome to find some gentle movement here if you wish. Halfway lift. So taking the hands to the shins, lengthen through the spine, send that chest forward, inhale. And exhale, we step back to our plank. Knees down or lifted, exhale as we lower all the way down. Releasing the toes, we're going to find a gentle stretch for the back. We're going to come to our sphinx. So see how the back feels in this pose. Ideally, those elbows are underneath the shoulders and the chest is lifted. If that's too much, you can drop the head down. Release that stretch through the back, or bring those hands underneath the shoulders. And we're going to be focusing on our abdominal breath here. So inhaling, allowing the belly to expand. And exhale, just allowing it to fall, completely present. Connected to that flow of breath. a child's pose. Find a nice stretch into the hips. Bring those hands underneath the shoulders. And just exhale as we press back to that tabletop. Knees opening. Edges of the mat. And we're sinking all the way down towards the heels. Forehead resting. And this is going to be our finishing stretch. We're just going to spend a little bit of time here. Completely allowing the body to relax. Let the forehead sink into the mat. Any tension that you're holding the face, let go. Softening through the shoulders. Relaxing into the fingers and the hands. Just breathing, following that rise and fall of the belly. Hips sinking down to the heels. Nowhere else 
for you to be, nothing else for you to do. Thank you very much for joining me today.